Tuero's last home game before their centenary Christmas is one of the most exciting in recent memory. But the title race is most definitely warming on the road this year. Either way. A real, real difficult effort against a side like Genoa who are really struggling. So maybe it says something about their battling spirit this season. Kind of adapted under Stefano Pioli. That season have continued that form this year, but I still feel there's a vulnerability. Years ago, no finer test for the narrow verdict. <laughs> League goals against Milan down the years. Police team against Roberto Tazzervi and scorers in Genoa. Becht. Potential bananas. In white today. Kick from... So Milan in white here on the offensive straight away. Going for potentially the fastest goal ever. What about that for a start? Well, Rafael Leal. Two goals for him at the start of October. A breathtaking start. No Ibrahimovic, no Rebic, but Rafael Leal fills the void. Well, I've seen some type things in football, Steve, but I've never seen this. Straight from the kickoff, through on goal. Now it's Sassuolo's turn with Traore. You see the game. Diaz forward for Tonali once again from Juricic to allow it to roll through for Ruggiero. So Leal, that uh, Stefano Pioli made a point of saying it. Rafael Leal, that's a lovely cutback. And how about this? Hakan Jalanolu makes it 2 0, and we've barely had nine minutes. A phenomenal start by Milan here against one of their main challengers. Well, talk about sending a message out to the rest of the league and talk about an exquisite start for Milan. So Swallow just not started this game so far. Defensively look very, very shaky with the changes in the middle. And that is just a brilliant, brilliant cutback. Defenders. Swallow well, have just had theirs here. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm really not a fan of marginal offside. Well, Barati got caught there. Juricic with a feed on. The suspended for this one against his former club. Arguably, didn't bubbling. Like uh, a bowling alley, the way they all top. Watch out for Teo Hernandez on the outside here. Tonali's gone in the middle. Leao goes near post. That is oh, nearly Kalulu. That's in the area already. Tolian, the support on the outside. Oh, Kessie once again doing a sterling job of defending. Yeah, that's a job the upside. Doing uh, some defensive organization from the sidelines. Marlon with Berardi. Opening up the angle and getting his shot away in the first save of the match for Donnarumma. Clever play, Tonali left it, they've got men over in the middle here. One of them is Salamakas, and that one will surely count. Not just a great breakaway goal, a truly clever goal. Very intelligent play from Milan, and they have a two-goal lead after 25 minutes. Well, this is what you certainly have to be very, very careful of in the dominant play that you have there, that you don't leave yourself vulnerable at the back, and Tonali is absolutely brilliant because he leaves it for Hernandez to run onto, and I actually think he takes an extra touch, and I think he's overstepped it. Juricic here trying to stab it through. Tonali working hard. As well as front players starting to get more uh, rhythm in their passing. And Calabria picking the space. Ruggiero on the outside. Here's Ruggiero. And the shot from Berardi ricocheting out. Here's 
Diaz here cleverly on for Teo Hernandez. Who got the second for Milan today? Half time. Back in Jalanolu's corner. Clever routine. Curiously with Defrel back in the side. He was actually, but just haven't quite got that link up play just right just yet. Teo Hernandez. Charging through the centre, Salamaka's behind Ferrari, who Tom Cruise in top gun. This time it's a, a dribbler, and his Barani Traore tries to pick his spot. That's a fine effort. It's a great attempt there from Traore because it's just a little. And, uh, Barani chips it up. That's a bit of a stretch for Traore. Tries to find the position, not quite Traore. Rogerio, Alan Olu, unselfishly to Rafael Leal. One of the two gasps is Ferrari. Shooting chance here. And for once, Milan's defenders not close. Haven't had the punch in front of goal. Maybe Juricic can change that. And providing very good movement off the ball here. Kalulu extended. Second, very cleverly. Half time, Sassuolo nil. Sassuolo's turn. And Ryan with a slip. A bit of a tame effort from Tolian in the end. Calabria. Away cheaply. Berardi. Juricic. Oh, tripped himself there. Oh, determined play from Ferrari. Caputo dropping deeper. And the return actually did find its way through. Traore shot in the end. Traore ooh, down inside the box. In this second half, and it's a difficult Traore. And Juricic. There goes Caputo, who's gone. The support around the outside. Jeremy Bogo will be. Decisions that have been made from both managers are not surprising. They're not tactical. They're just personnel. To make something we haven't seen so much from Sassuolo's players. And just got a glimpse of uh, Marco and Veronica Squinty. <laughs> Beating the 19-year-old previous best. And here the referee shows the first yellow card to Frank Kersey. Downhearted about missing today. Good running here, Muldua. Back towards his own goal. Nice delivery here for Sassuolo, if they get it forward quickly enough. Surely it's Berardi. Oh, and it is Berardi with that beauty. He has made a habit of it down the years against Milan. And he's got another for the collection here in the 89th minute. Abraham. Barkley drives it forward. And the shot! Marvellous goal! Well, this guy...